Welcome to the Enchanted Story Boat. Today we will be reading Imogene's Antlers from Caldecott Medal winner David Small. For a new generation of young readers and their parents and teachers, Antlers on You, David Small. On Thursday, when Imogene woke up, she found she had grown antlers. Getting dressed was difficult. And going through a door now took some thinking. Imogene started down for breakfast, but got hung up. Imogene's mother fainted away. The doctor poked and prodded and scratched his chin. He could find nothing wrong. The school principal glared at Imogene, but had no advice to offer. Her brother, Norman, consulted the encyclopedia and then announced that Imogene had turned into a rare form of miniature elk. Imogene's mother fainted again and was carried upstairs to bed. Imogene went into the kitchen. Lucy, the kitchen maid, had her sit by the oven to dry some towels. Lovely antlers, said Lucy. The cook, Mrs. Perkins, gave Imogene a donut, then decked her out with several more and sent her into the garden to feed the birds. You'll be lots of fun to decorate come Christmas, said Mrs. Perkins. Later, Imogene wandered upstairs. She found the whole family in Mother's bedroom. Donuts, anyone? She asked. Her mother said, Imogene, we have decided there is only one thing to do. We must hide your antlers under a hat. Norman telephoned the milliner. At three o'clock, the milliner arrived. Rapidly, he sketched a few designs, then set to work. Voila, said the milliner. Bravo, bravissimo, cried his assistants. Thud. Imogene's mother had to be carried away once more. After dinner, Imogene practiced her piano lesson. Then, yawning, <sighs> she folded her music, kissed the family, and went to bed. <sighs> Imogene sighed, remembering the long, eventful day. On Friday, when Imogene woke up, the antlers had disappeared. When she came down to breakfast, the family was overjoyed to see her back to normal. Until she came into the room. The end. Thanks for reading with me today. Until next time, be well and bon voyage. Bye.